Krieger Labs is named after a German chemist, Helmut Krieger. He experimented with poison gases and other nasty toys for the Nazis, and he disappeared in 1944. Uh-huh. After the fall of France in 1940, the Germans moved his laboratory into France. That way, if one of his experiments went wrong, only Frenchmen would die. Nice, huh? Uh-huh. Records of the experiments were never found. Neither was the lab, but Krieger was known to frequent a little village in eastern France called Ozia. That's near the old Maginot Line. Connection, maybe? Secret lab hidden in an abandoned fortress? Hey. If I didn't think there was a connection, would I be driving all night, chasing that crazy lady's taillights across France? But you gotta stop and think, kid. This mystery babe might be with Dorrance. No way. Why would she be helping us find him? Besides, if Sir Edmund is close to getting a gas bomb or something... I, I think you're just a sucker for a pretty face. Well, I guess she is kind of beautiful. But she's kind of scary, too. Huh. So this Krieger worked on poison gas, huh? I thought they'd been outlawed by the Geneva Convention. Well, they were. That's why he moved into bioweapons, plagues. But his lab was never found. But you and the scary babe think you know where it is. Yeah. Here's the map. I think this king snake may have found Krieger's lab right there. The Maginot Line, you idiots. It was supposed to keep the Germans out of France, but it didn't even slow them down. Now it's just an old relic. There's nothing down there that can hurt you, so get into those tunnels. If we don't get these crates to Hong Kong in 24 hours, Sir Edmund will eat us alive. Hey, Robin. There's your maiden in distress. I don't want to talk about it. Happens to the best of us, kid. I don't see Sir Edmund. He wouldn't get his hands dirty. The ghost dragons do the grunt work for him, and it looks like they know where they're going. But what would they want with a 50-year-old bioweapon? Why don't you ask your new girlfriend, Shiva? She's got all the... Hey, where is she? I thought she was right behind us. I don't trust that woman. There's no turning back now. Come on. This is getting too freaky. Killer bimbos, Nazi plague bombs, you doing the Zorro thing. I feel like I'm living out a National Enquirer headline. I can see it now. Ex-DEA agent found in Nazi sewers with boy and tights. Not cool. Look at this place. I'll bet it's been ages since anyone's been down here. Good reason, too. Probably still lots of explosives hidden in these tunnels. Shh. They're just up ahead of us. We'd better not lose them. There's got to be thousands of miles of corridors down here. Robin, get down! Holy! The sucker's got us nailed! Make a break for it! Clyde, this crate we ducked behind. It's... Run! I'll draw his fire. Clyde, keep down. It's full of... Oh! Ballistic armor in my cloak took some hits. Kept me alive. But my ears are probably going to be ringing for days. Wish that were the worst of it. Hey, Lynx! It's that punk from Paris! Pick him up. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into, Lynx, but... You should see your face. Priceless. Still surprised? You thought I was a damsel in distress. <laughs> Foolish bird. I'm going to enjoy cutting out your... I don't think you'll do much with a bullet in the brain. Get to the trucks. Let's get out of here. Clyde's got himself some firepower, but he's being a little more help than we need right now. Ow! Oh, hey, kid, what's the idea? Sorry, Clyde. Guns just aren't my style. Besides, no telling what a few hot slugs through those crates might do. Unless you wanted to play Name That Plague. Yeah. But now we gotta chase them. No problem. According to the map, there's an airport a few miles from here. That's gotta be where they're headed. Oh, man. That's a lot of dead bodies. I tell you, your girlfriend Shiva's been here. You would be correct, Mr. Rollins. Shiva, looks like you tried to stop them. I gave it every effort, little Robin. They were carrying this. A glass vial, full of nasty bugs, I'll bet. Murder by disease. No art in it. No soul. Such a decadent way to kill. Then you stopped them. Only from taking both containers. They loaded the other before I got here. The plane lifted off. Then we've lost. Damn. We'll never find Dorrance now. On the contrary, Mr. Rollins. One of the ghost dragons was kind enough to tell me where the plane was headed. Just before his untimely expiration. Lucky thing. Indeed. Sometimes a great deal of luck can be won by breaking a man's fingers, joint by joint. Um, yeah. Where's the plane headed? Hong Kong. The Moors built this tower to house the device during their rule of Spain. It is close to a thousand years old. 
The clock within draws water from an artesian well dug by Roman legionnaires during the time of Galba. The earth itself forces the water along 200 feet of ceramic pipe. The water follows a path through copper baffles, taking exactly 3,600 seconds to fill each bucket in sequence. And so, this tower has counted off the seconds and minutes and hours without fail for near ten centuries. A wonder of Arab science. Yes, I believe it's based on the same principles as the great water clock in Morocco. It has not lost an hour's time since it was installed before the coming of El Cid. You are a learned man, Sir Edmund. I could use a clock like this in my Hong Kong headquarters, Toppy. You see, time is important to me. I have an appointment, one that I must not miss. I'm afraid the clock is not for sale, Sir Edmund. Bubble, in this case, Toby, is nearly two million pounds in various European currencies. The case is yours, in return for the clock. B but I cannot. The care of this clock has been entrusted to my family for generations. Toby... You have six children and seventeen grandchildren. Either the clock is mine or your family will have seen its last generation. That's the plane. We should take them out the minute they land. No. We follow them. They will lead us to Sir Edmund. That's crazy. No, Shiva's right. Let's tag along and see where this goes. You two just want Dorrance. There's more to this than just him. If I'm right, those cases contain a strain of man-made plague that could kill millions. This way we can roll up the whole gang. You don't care, do you, Clyde? All this is just payback. As long as you get to Sir Edmund, nothing else counts, does it? The man killed my family. Payback is all I want. You don't understand. Better than you think. We are going to lose them. We're supposed to be the good guys. They're motivated by revenge and hatred. We're supposed to be better than that. Just get in the Jeep, kid. Ah, Lynx. I trust you are suitably impressed with your surroundings? Ah, uh, Sir Edmund, I had heard about your Hong Kong offices, but this is truly magnifique. It is like a palace. Thank you. Of course, we're currently redecorating. Adding a thousand-year-old water clock spruce up the lobby, don't you think? From here, I run an empire. Shipping, banking, electronics, all a cover, of course. The real money comes from the heroin trade. Now, I believe you have something for me. Yes, Sir Edmund. Here is the case. Only one? The boy. The one I told you about? He and Rollins and the woman found us again. We were only able to get this one away. Well, this won't do at all, I'm afraid. The boy is associated with the American vigilante called the Batman. He is precisely the kind of interference I cannot afford right now. Fortunately for you, Lynx, this one case should be enough to carry out my plan. Otherwise, I might not be so lenient with you. Then, you forgive me? No, not at all. Bubbo? Yes, Sir Edmund? A punishment for Lynx, Bubbo. Well, I could drop her from the very top of the building, Sir Edmund. The fall from your penthouse would be quite spectacular. No, no, nothing too dire, but memorable. Yes, Sir Edmund. No, no. Little bird. Hmm? Awake, little bird. Uh, what? Shiva, where? We are at one of my safe houses. You are sleeping in one of my extra bedrooms. I brought you here last night. Yeah, I remember. I've been traveling so much, it's all starting to blur together. The time has come. For what? For you to enter a new world. I... Yeah, I'm not sure I'm ready for this. Oh, <laughs> There's enough time for that later, little bird. Now it is time for your lesson in martial skills. Um, oh, I'll be dressed in a minute. Before we begin, you must choose a weapon. You must improve your reach. I've got a sling. For children. Choose from my collection. Shuriken, nunchakas, katana. I'll take this. A simple staff. It's hardly a lethal weapon. I'm not looking for lethal. Besides, this staff is collapsible. It'll fit behind my cape. We will be facing the most dangerous criminals in Asia. Choose again. I won't fight murderers by becoming one. You have your mentor's nobility. 
We will change that. Let us begin. She moves like a cat. Can't keep up. Can't grapple either. It's like wrestling smoke. I've been taking nothing but abuse since I left Gotham. I've been kicked and punched and slapped and stomped. Some were bruisers, some were experts, some were mechanics. But I've never been in a fight with an artist. Until now, she's faster than anyone I've ever seen. Maybe faster than Batman. She's playing with me and I don't like it. Red anger boils up in me. She's going to know she was in a fight. Ugh, yeah. She'll know it when she washes my blood off her hands. You let your anger control you. Only a fool thinks anger will help him in a fight. Lesson one is over. It is sunset, isn't it, Mobo? Yes. I can feel the sun on my face. Unlike you, Bobo, I cannot see the city of Hong Kong stretching out below us, but I can feel it. All below me is history. My people turned this from a pathetic fishing village into one of the world's greatest centers of commerce in just a century and a half, and soon it will be given away. The dowry of an empire. The communist Chinese will take it all in just a few short years. <laughs> by giving a priceless jewel to an idiot. They won't know what to do with Hong Kong. They'll turn it into a Spartan wasteland like everything they touch. Tragic. But I will deny it to them. By the time they claim her, she'll be a rotting carcass from Lantau Island to the Tolo Channel. Thanks to a 50-year-old plague and a thousand-year-old timepiece, I will not leave her for others to ravage. Better to die at the hands of a lover than a stranger, hmm? That sadly, we shall be gone from here. So come, Bobo, let us see to the water clock. Still hurting, kid? I'm trying not to think about it. Carving your name in that stick? In a way. You're still ticked at me, aren't you? Because you went along with an obvious psychopath's decision to endanger millions of lives? You're just being sensitive, Clyde. Dorrance killed everything I ever loved. Excuse me if I can't work up a lot of compassion for a bunch of strangers. I know who you are. Boy wonder to that freak in Gotham. So don't judge me, Robin. You got this all backwards. Getting back that bioweapon was the most important thing. Dorrance was our second priority. We could have taken him later, but now you and Lady Schizo have put a rush on both. Plus now we have to go in and take him on his own turf. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a lesson to attend. You are nothing. You are less than nothing. You are a child. That is how your opponents must see you. They will underestimate your skills because of your age and size. That is your advantage. But you must never see yourself that way. Draw them to attack, feign weakness, feign fear, and strike when they are close. Take up your staff, little Robin. Here's the deal. She'll let me make one move. I've got to make it a good one. I'll start with the staff. What is... Oh, thanks to my cutting job, the staff whistles in midair and distracts her. For just an instant, she steps into my arc. And two good moves become three. Oh, she underestimated me. So, the little bird has found his song. I see it in her eyes. Next time she'll have me for lunch. How does the work proceed, Bobo? Most excellently, Sir Edmund. The water clock has been installed in the lobby of the building. The trickle of water should be a welcome addition to the sound of the atrium, don't you think? Has the bioweapon been prepared? As you instructed, the plague agent has been encased in a block of salt and placed in one of the clock's hour receptacles. Excellent. The container should fill in 12 hours. The salt will take three more to melt. The salt solution should be the perfect breeding ground for those nasty microbes. The scourge will be airborne and dispersed through our ventilation system to fall on the city. And there, in the stinking alleys and the miserable hovels, it may breed. Sour grapes indeed for our mainland friends, but we shall be long gone by that time. Now come, Babo, there's just time enough for dinner before we take our leave of Hong Kong. Sir Edmund, he wouldn't get his hands dirty. 
The ghost dragons do the grunt work for him, and it looks like they know where they're going. But what would they want with a 50-year-old bioweapon? Why don't you ask your new girlfriend, Shiva? She's got all the... Hey, where is she? I thought she was right behind us. I don't trust that woman. There's no turning back now. Come on. This is getting too freaky. Krieger Labs is named after a German chemist, Helmut Krieger. He experimented with poison gases and other nasty toys for the Nazis, and he disappeared in 1944. Uh-huh. After the fall of France in 1940, the Germans moved his laboratory into France. That way, if one of his experiments went wrong, only Frenchmen would die. Nice, huh? Uh-huh. Records of the experiments were never found. Neither was the lab, but Krieger was known to frequent a little village in... The Maginot Line, you idiots! It was supposed to keep the Germans out of France, but it didn't even slow them down. Now it's just an old relic. There's nothing down there that can hurt you, so get into those tunnels. If we don't get these crates to Hong Kong in 24 hours, Sir Edmund will eat us alive. Hey, Robin. There's your maiden in distress. I don't want to talk about it. it happens to the best of us, kid. I don't see eastern France called Ozia. That's near the old Maginot Line. Connection, maybe? Secret lab hidden in an abandoned fortress? Hey, if I didn't think there was a connection, would I be driving all night, chasing that crazy lady's tail lights across France? But you gotta stop and think, kid. This mystery babe might be with Dorrance. No way. Why would she be helping us find him? Besides, if Sir Edmund is close to getting a gas bomb or something... I, I think you're just a sucker for a pretty face. Well, I guess she is kind of beautiful. But she's kind of scary, too. Huh. So this Krieger worked on poison gas, huh? I thought they'd been outlawed by the Geneva Convention. Well, they were. That's why he moved into bioweapons, plagues. But his lab was never found. But you and the scary babe think you know where it is. Yeah. Here's the map. I think this king snake may have found Krieger's lab right there.